In this video, I'll be doing a review of Pardus 2013. Now, Pardus used to be a very nice KDE based distro. However, now they've lost support from the Turkish government, so it's a community based distro. Now, unfortunately, all they have is Turkish as the language. So it still looks a very nice KDE distro, but it's actually nightmarishly hard to use if you don't understand Turkish, like me. So I have to apologise now for the quality of this review. I'll show you as much as I can of it, and show you some quite nice parts of the distro, but I don't understand half of what it says. <laughs> the styling of Pardus does look quite nice. You've got this custom icon set, all the programs and menus have this nice gradient effect on them, and there's quite a selection of backgrounds on here. So I can just quickly scroll down that list, and you can see there's quite a wide variety to choose from. So that's very nice. The layout of the desktop. So you've got the application menu in the bottom left hand side. So it's got your favourite applications, the application list, Dolphin, recently used applications, and the shutdown menu. Along the bottom here you've got shortcuts for Firefox, Thunderbird, VLC, LibreOffice, Amarok, Ubuntu Software Center. Yet yeah, it's the Ubuntu Software Center in Debian. And you've got this button to minimize all open programs. And yes, we have a nice reminder that there are some updates to do on the system. So Firefox comes preset up with the Adobe Flash Player. Now I've come run into an issue on here, because if I want to type youtube.com, the dot on my keyboard is that little C with a squiggle underneath it. Uh, fortunately I opened it up earlier, just doing a simple search, and it opens. I can't even get to my channel because that's not the word quids there. <laughs> so I'm just running into issues here with the different keyboards. Uh, I could probably change that within the KDE settings, but uh, I can't remember where they all are, and since they're in Turkish, I'm just not sure. So without anything more specific to talk about in this distro, I'll just show you the applications it comes with. And this is going to be quite a job. So under accessories, you can see it has the ATI and NVIDIA drivers pre-installed. Uh, okay. Ah, system config printer. So it's got some printer drivers pre-installed on here. So that is quite a nice add-on. That's the media applications. So you've got K3B, VLC media player for your video player, Amarok for the music player, and KMixer. Now Amarok did come up with a few error messages. And yes, it still is coming up with some error messages about being unable to create a database. But you can open it up. I've not been able to play any music on here, and I can't get into my NAS across the network. Language issues in Dolphin, I just can't remember which way to go. So under graphics, there are quite a few programs pre-installed on here. Uh, I'm not going to read all these out. Let's just take a look at the notable ones. That's uh, GIMP pre-installed. That's GIMP 2.8.2. Anything else notable? Looks like just a few different camera programs and photo management. What is this error with MySQL? Under internet, well, as I've already mentioned, you've got Thunderbird and Firefox on here. So this is Office, and you've got this uh, HP fax utility and address book, and it's got the full suite of LibreOffice, so that's including Writer, Calc, Impress, and Database. What's this one? All right, Play on Linux. So it's got Play on Linux and Wine pre-installed. Some system utilities. Nothing that special here. I've only got like this HP printer toolbox. Uh, wine configuration. We've got Ubuntu Software Center and Synaptic under this system. So here's what I thought of Pardus 2013. So easy to use. No, it isn't. Because it's only in Turkish, and I don't understand Turkish, so no, it's very difficult to use. The so ease of installation. Well, it's a GUI installer, but it's got a couple of technical questions. It's not that bad though. Styling, well, they did quite a nice job on the styling. You've got the custom icons, large selection of wallpapers, and the nice gradient on the programs. Uh, the boot up speed, no, it's pretty slow, and I couldn't bring myself to give it a higher score than that. Although you see it gets the login screen fairly quick, it still takes a while after that. So it's on and on to wait for the KDE desktop to boot up there. But once it's open, the responsiveness is pretty good. A couple of bugs there, there was the errors, it, um, the Synaptic Package Manager searcher doesn't work too well, although it might have been down to the keyboard setting, but there were errors on Amarok. So a selection of pre-installed applications, 
Seems fairly reasonable, but I'm not sure what um, target market they're aiming at here. If it's a corporate, could have done with a couple of little games like Solitaire. So the good points. So it seems quite a nice KDE distro to use if you understand Turkish. But as I mentioned, it's very difficult to use if you don't understand Turkish. But there is the point there that other languages may be added at a later date. So overall, I've given this distro 70%, but I'll have no problems in giving it a much higher score if they add more languages. So thanks for watching. See you later.